Hello and welcome. Now, this time we are going to calculate expected length of a non empty Q for the same case. The sign is LQ dash or QF uh, apostrophe. The logic is LQ, expected number of customers in the Q divided by probability of more than one customer. More than one means two, three, four, or two or three or four or five or six or up to whatever value of n. So this is summation of infinite geometric series, and the last step will be this. That is the part of pure mathematics. We are not going to derive this formula. We are just going to use it. So it will be now lambda square upon mu into mu minus lambda into one upon lambda by mu whole square something like this will be there 1 upon lambda square upon mu square let us remove the bracket so we can decrease the step now denominator of the denominator is multiplied by the numerator so it will be mu into mu square into 1 mu square upon lambda square so now we can cancel these two and the formula becomes mu square upon mu into mu minus lambda now mu square is mu into mu upon mu into mu minus lambda so we can cancel now one mu from numerator as well as denominator so the formula comes to mu upon mu minus lambda first time ever mu comes as a numerator now this is the formula let us use it lq dash equals to mu upon mu minus lambda mu is 10 mu minus lambda is mu minus 6 10 by 4 that is 2.5 so expected number of customers in the non empty queue comes to 2.5 for this particular case now we have another alternative to calculate expected number length of the non empty queue and that is 1 upon idle rate 1 upon idle rate idle rate is 0.4 so it comes to 2.5 now choice is yours if you can remember this formula you can because we have already calculated idle rate but in the questions where idle rate is not asked to be part of your answer you can use this formula because in every question we have to find out lambda the arrival rate as well as mu the service rate and in this kind of formula we can directly use the value of lambda as well as mu so personally i suggest using this kind of formula but now choice is yours you can use this formula also that's it thank you very much